Hi, this is Drew. Welcome to Fitness 40 and Beyond. Join me in my recovery journey from leukemia diagnosis back to fitness and well-being. Also with fitness, well-being and healthy lifestyle tips and advice for those over 40. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and please do hit the bell so you can get the latest updates from Fitness 40 and Beyond. If this is your first time here, welcome and um, if you do like what you see, please do like and subscribe um, so you can get all the latest videos from Fitness 40 and Beyond. Let's get to it. So today we're going to do legs. Um, this is often an area that um, most people who work out tend to avoid. Um, but legs are so important, so vital to your overall, um, not only your, your, your stature and your physique, but also just to maintain balance and to carry the weight that you'll be um, putting on through, through lifting heavy weights and through bodybuilding up top. Um, it looks really funny if you've got quite a, a well-developed um, upper body and then when you get to the legs, there's just nothing there. Um, there's no support, you can be easily you know, pushed over um, and aesthetically all around, it just doesn't look good. So um, today we're gonna just do some basics, um, legs, gonna do some squats and some variations of that. And I'll probably throw in a couple lunges and maybe a hamstring exercise and some calves, just as a, an introduction um, to a leg session. Um, I'm gonna go and continue with my, um, my HIIT training um, to do my, my body conditioning. This is week two for me. So um, I will see you on the other side of that. Let's get to it. Okay, so we are going to start our leg workout with our squats, which is one of our three compound movements. Remember I was saying that um, the pushing action of the chest press and the um, lifting action of the deadlift and squats, three of the compound movements. Please, safety first, safety is paramount. When you're doing this, if you're doing it for the first time, Please do make sure you have someone to help you, to spot you. Um, also, don't overload it with weight. Do be very mindful of your back. Um, keep it safe. Do this in as safe a fashion as possible, okay? So let's get to it. So what we've got here, I've got two 10 kilo weights on a straight bar. Um, position yourself under the bar. Try and get your position right. Make sure that you're nice and comfortable. Look up slightly. And lift. Use your legs to help drive the bar off the rack. Find yourself in a nice, comfortable position. Okay. Maybe you might want to get a bit closer so that safety can catch you.
walk it all the way back in. And safely put it back on.
sort of a, a kind of leg, leg extension machine at the gym. Um, one of the kind of tips I've picked up online is um, probably to use one of these um, easy curl bars that you would normally use um, for doing your bicep curls. Um, and you see where these um, round grooves are for you to fit your hands in. I'm going to try and see if we can fit our feet in there. Um, this is the first time I'm actually trying this. So um, let's see how this goes. But the aim is that you're going to be working your quads. And I'm going to pull down my knee pads for extra support. Around my um, my ankles. I'm also going to put the towel around because you know this can dig into you and it can be quite painful. So we want to make sure you've got as much padding as possible. What we want to try and do is replicate what the machine does at the um, gym to work the quad area. Okay, so. I've tilted the seat upwards so that I get more space to lift and retract my legs when I'm doing this exercise. And a slight tilt on the backrest as well so that I can get a little bit of leverage. Okay, so I'll try about three sets of this as it's kind of new to me. Um, I'll try 10 reps and we'll see how we do. Let's get to it. So that is key. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, so actually did the job. Um, I can feel it in my quads. So I'll do two more sets of those. So I'll signal three, two more sets of those, and then we'll move on to our next exercise. Touch, move away, 
grip the bench. One, two, extend the hamstring. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to do six reps on each side, um, do about three to four sets. Um, let's get to it. So we've got, if you can see there, we've got one of our dumbbells here, one on the other side of me. Nice, lightweight to start with. strongest leg to lead with. I always like to lead with the leg. All the way down with your supporting knee. I'm back. exercises to do. So you've got um, ones where you're 
toes are pointing outwards so your heels are together and that works the outer calf you've got your toes pointed inwards together that does the inner calf and then straight toe which does the main body of the calf okay let's get to it